When you start playing badminton, one thing that often happens is that you enjoy the sport so much that you just want to get on the court as much as possible and simply expect to become a better player by having a lot of court time. But there are some things you should keep in mind that will help you improve your game much faster. Hi, I'm Coach Kenny Asunshon and I've been a professional badminton coach for many years. This channel is all about helping you improve your badminton game. So if there's something specific you want to learn, please write it down in the comments section below. If you want to become a better badminton player as soon as possible, here are some do's and don'ts to remember so that you don't develop bad habits. Instead, you'll be able to increase your level of play even faster. My number one do is of course, do learn the proper and right basics. It's very important to play and do it the right way. So don't just go on court and just, you know, hit. Okay, you want to try out the sport, you want to try out badminton, sure, um, you know, practice hitting it if you have the hand and eye coordination if you think you want to enjoy it but once you've decided that you want to play it regularly that you want to enjoy the game more do have the right basics because it prevents injuries it makes you move better on court there's fluidity you can move you know with synchronicity you can coordinate your hand your eye your legs entirely so the proper basics would help you in the long run do's and don'ts number two do work on your footwork therefore that means don't go on court running around like you're in a track and field so do work on the proper footwork why because in the long run you will be able to conserve your energy because if you move with the right footwork in the right way, you won't have any excess steps. You won't be running too much on court. So it's very, very important to understand that, that the good footwork helps you. Plus, the good footwork should let you know that you are constantly balancing your movement meaning that there is no dumping of the weight on one leg you're trying to move correctly with the right footwork with the right form and you know learning how to shift your weight so do not just run on court like a headless chicken like just running you know just sprinting and speeding up do the proper footwork do's and don'ts number three do work on your serve don't just serve as though you only intend to let the shuttle go in from the serve that is already the first step to being in an advantage so if you make a good serve if you do a good serve then most likely you are setting the tone you are setting the pace for that particular rally if the serve is too high your opponent is in an aggressive position is in an attacking position and there's a slightly bigger percentage for your opponent to get that particular point so it's important that you know where to serve it to how high you want to serve it to how low you want to serve it to do you want to um, suddenly flick the serve that is also part of the strategy the starting of the game therefore that is the serve do's and don'ts number four do play not just with physical strength, but with good mental strategies as well. Badminton is not just a physical sport, it's also a mental one. So do play it smart, do play it right. So that brings me to my don't. Don't just keep returning your shots aimlessly without thinking, um, just with the intention of being able to give it back. No, you have to know, you have to use your, and practice your mental and your physical strength combined together. So mentally, you have to know where you're supposed to put the shot. What shot are you going to use? Right? How strong, how soft you want a certain shot to be. Then the physical aspect 
comes with it and a good combination would make you get the point and eventually make you win the game. My do's and don'ts number five. Do focus on the gameplay one rally at a time. So don't focus on the end results. Okay, I always tell my players, when you are playing, focus on that one rally. One rally, one point. Simply because if you get that point, then that's your progress and you slowly move forward. If you did not get the point, you have to think of what to do so that you can get the point in the next rally now if you're too focused on the end result of winning or losing then you are not in the present you are going way ahead and sometimes thinking too much of the winning or losing only adds up to pressure and those are unnecessary pressure and you've only started the game or you're midway through and you're putting unnecessary pressure and sometimes what happens is when your opponent is leading then um, there's a big chance that it makes you kind of lose hope that you will be able to catch up and so you get frustrated and frustrated and frustrated. On the other hand, it could also be that you are leading with points but then because you're so focused on winning and winning, you're not actually thinking what made you get those points and so the opponent will slowly figure it out and you know try to outdo you try to outsmart you so you always play do play the rally one point at a time you will also improve your game quickly if you learn to avoid a lot of common badminton mistakes click on the video on your screen to learn more about what these are catch my next video so you can level up your game and become a smashing success